Hello everybody and welcome back. I am Karex and we are continuing on with this Flotsam playthrough. And um, we are playing updated for 2021. Um, this is the 0 0.4 electricity update. Um, we're still in early access, but the game has been out for about a year and a half and it's gotten uh, an, a handful of updates. And we're checking it out. We actually we did a review for Flotsam when it came out. Um, which actually was um, kind of the first time we'd ever done a video like that, like an edited sort of like review kind of edit a video. Um, but now, and I always said I wanted to go back and, and do a playthrough, and hey, now we are, and it's been up to a bunch of times, and, and maybe there'll be some people taking a look at it. So we're just ending day two right now. And we actually haven't built uh, beds for any of these people. So presumably, I don't know, their, their energy is not particularly mildly exhausted, right? Because they're not getting the bedding that they need to really recoup their energy it seems but uh, right now we're trying to get food going we see the seaweed over here that will be our, our salvation there but we need more plastic as well so i think we're to scoot over here get the plastic really quickly yeah scoot over here get the plastic and then scoot over here and get the um and get the seaweed and and hopefully those things combine because we actually do not have the materials right now in order to build oh we actually can get the rope crafter but we will not have the plastic in order to build the um the chop shop we need to we're gonna need six more floaters for that so let's get the rope crafter built here uh, i guess it doesn't really matter too much where we build this thing there isn't really like much of a layout optimization i mean someone could be like yes there is it's like for the most part it's pretty it's pretty basic um, I haven't noticed really any issues, logistical issues. It, it's a relatively tight, small uh, village that you build up around the center of this area, and the, the little dudes work, uh, move around pretty quick. So, Guys, by the way, if you guys are just joining us uh, for episode two here, because YouTube is really weird about like recommending things out of order sometimes, uh, on the YouTube algorithm is, is really bad about sort of keeping up with the series and, and promoting episode one ahead of the other episode sometimes so there's a playlist link down below that's what i'm trying to say so the playlist link down below will get you started in the first episode where we talked a little bit about flotsam the game this you know um and just sort of got going and, and got to this point and, and stuff so oh wow we actually made all of that firewood and those wooden planks use a ton of dry wood i didn't realize that Okay. Let's let's move over here though. Now that it's a new day, let's let's get a move on. And um, move over here so that we can get this plastic. Then we'll have to zip back over here to get this seaweed. Set up the buoy. Oh, there's actually going to be some floaters here, which is nice. Uh, assign eh, basically two people to go work on that. We'll have our crafter doing things. Um, back home so to speak and really what we're trying to get is we're trying to get this built we need one single thing of rope which is going to require that we go get the seaweed just to get the rope but either way in the meantime we're going to need to build up the uh, the floaters and we have the planks it seems like so we're good on that I might actually kind of like to build a storage yard also if we can get extra floaters and planks then we can start making beds so we're definitely going to want to make basically as many of these as we can here. That's actually, I feel like this is a slightly higher priority than the desalinator. We have ton, we have plenty of water. So we have food issues. So if you could stop doing this, this would be great. Um, I see that you're working this. You're working this. Good for you. But if you could move on to other tasks, that would be nice. I could turn this off, but I'm just thinking there's only one left. You're just going to make it and be done, right? Where's the bar? There used to be a little bar that would go up uh, as the uh, as the job was being done. Yeah, we need we need floaters. And we could actually start to make beds. Um, if we had a lot of floaters, I'd probably like to do something out here. Or actually, you know, we could we could start to put. Uh, we have additional pathways here. We could actually run something like this here around the back. I'm going to build that. Kind of do a little bit of a boxy. I think a lot of people typically do like a sort of a Frostpunk style circular 
um, road system. And, and I kind of like doing a boxy thing just because it's kind of goofy and it works just as well. Um, and it just, it, it feels like we're doing something a bit different with that. Okay, do we, we collected all of the, uh, the plastic there. Time to get a move on. Time to get a move on. Let's get it going over here. There's more plastic this way. It's going to be out of range. There's wood there that we totally don't need. There's going to be dry wood here that we can get. Because we should still have just tons of wet wood. And we have 30 wet wood still. This really, though, is the critical thing. Oh, no, okay, so it's just a buoy. Whoops. Yeah, it's just it's just a buoy gathering. It's not it's not a location that you gather. It used to be that you'd get seaweed from a location like this. Um, but yeah, okay. Let's go get that seaweed. And um, I raw seaweed. How much food is this going to be? How much food is this going to be? Once we get a, a little bit of seaweed, we can we can build the uh, singular rope, which costs two seaweed. Nice. You're working on the nice. You're working on making the rope right away. Good, 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 good. There we go. Let's make this rope. Then we can get the chop shop up and going. It looks like we have excess wood and excess floaters to be able to build a singular bed as well. So I will work on that. Chop shop is good to go get that up and going as well and if we come over here and we say we want to make four more floaters and some more wooden planks in fact we're going to need a total of four more wooden planks and we're, and we're going to be able to easily get that from the polluted wood that's over on this island Okay, the salvage, that was fully done. Let's make sure we assign this to two, just so people know that they can get more people working on that. We could be picking up some dry wood. Well, we're here, what's the situation with our inventory space? We have 30, we still have 30 wet wood. I'm just not worried about picking up more dry. We've really gathered everything from this area, so we're just going to have to go into the beyond and see what we find. There we go. Let's get someone cooking here. Stat. Seaweed salad. Seaweed salad. Let's make as many of these as we can. Um, and now at this point, we've made everything except for the uh, scrap, uh, scrap smith, which we don't actually need any of those materials until we actually get the research station. So what we probably want to do now is build the watchtower and the research station. The watchtower will give us more range. That actually sounds kind of cool. That's a new building. I like the idea of that building. We can actually be able to see further into the uh, into the unknown here. I guess we'll have more range with our ship, so we can see things. Maybe we'll have more range with our actual like gathering too. I wonder if it'll affect the actual um, sort of range that we can go out here. I'm not sure. Either way, to go to go that far out, you really do have to have boats. It's it's rather inefficient without the boats. Okay, we're trying to collect all of this. We got five more wood out here to go get. So if we could go get that, that'd be swell. Um, the day is going to be coming to an end. Looks like we're making some seaweed salad over here. Chop, 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 chop. Using the axe rather than using the chopping knife, which is a little bit interesting. Food's going up, though. Food's going up. I, I, I don't know. What is the nutritional value of each of these? It looks like it's one. It's one. It's not half. Sometimes the food is not even a full one value. It could be that the seaweed, you know... There we go. We have seven food. We're now making food. So it's obviously going to be critically important that we... Um... Oh, and we can do enough beds. If we can get these beds made before the end of the day, that would be Pog Champ. As that would... Uh, that would get these guys to be able to get some good rest. Because right now they're not very getting... Not, they're not getting very much rest. What does that actually do... Minus one athletics and minus one to research. That actually kind of makes sense. You're exhausted, so you're not researching as well. 
we could be collecting some of this just because they have nothing else to do here. No, we need to move. We need to move. It's time to time to get this ship cruise into a new area. We know that there's plastic here. We know there's plastic here. We don't know anything about the beyond out here. Anything about the beyond out here. This is closer. I'm going to overshoot this a little bit and see if we can get into this fog. Okay, we're finding... Oh, oh Shack Town. Okay, interesting. I wonder what's at the Shack Town. For now, let's just quickly scoop up all of this plastic. Ooh, six floaters too. Nice. Each floater is basically the equivalent of four raw plastic, and we don't have to craft it into plastic uh, floaters because most of the building materials that you use are the actual floaters. The floaters are just these big giant floating jugs. It's just called. That's just what it's called. Um, we don't have any right now to hover over to prove that that's what they're called. Um, but I guess that that is what they're called. Oh, do we build the watchtower first, or do we build the um, the research station first? We are slowly running out. Not running out, but we are slowly using the dried wood. There we go, guys. Get some good rest. Let's go. So now they have a bed. What is that going to do exactly? Are they going to gain... Um, are they going to lose some of their exhaustion? Are they going to get fully replenished? Or is it because these are lower quality beds? You can get higher quality beds once you get a research table. So I'm a little bit curious to see how this is going to work here. I mean, I don't think we can modify how much, how long they sleep or how long they rest. It doesn't look like I'm trying to click on this here. It just shows this little gray sliver here is the, the amount of time that they, they rest. They haven't even eaten food yet. Yep, they actually gained. They gained. I wonder if they'll stay here, though, at this yellow because of the bed quality, and maybe you need a better bed to be able to go up all the way. That might be how that works. Um, with that mild uh, exhaustion, what do they lose? Oh, nothing. Um, sleeping on the walkways, they would like a house. Oh, well, okay, never mind. Then that's just sleeping on the walkways. So this shouldn't count as the walkways. This should count as a step up from the walkways. Maybe the beds even boost it, like it make them energized or something. Should be kind of cool. Yeah, we need to be chopping a lot of wood here. Um, we're not in range for anything else, are we? No, but we want to go over to the shack. And it looks like there's actually something next to the shack. Potentially. Dude, I the crank thing, it's like, cool, dude. Thanks, man. But I need you to be collecting plastic right now. Do we at least have the people like collecting plastic that should be collecting plastic? Like, are you good at this? Yeah, you're a salvager. You're a cooker salvager. Nice. No one else should be cooking, right? Actually, what we probably should do is go into the tab there and, and make sure that we're deselecting. When these people are really specialized at research, we should be in cooking. We should deselect this other stuff. Oh, no. Crafting? We can have them crafting, though. If they have nothing better to do, let them craft. Although we probably don't need you doing desalination. We probably don't need you doing... Um, construction because you have no uh, added construction abilities. So this person's cooking and they should just be doing tons of salvaging and if they can't they can just haul. Oh they should definitely be on energy duty. If they're not doing this stuff they could be doing the energy. Let's reduce that so that they are focused on more important things because researching and building is going to become more and more important I think. We're actually at max capacity over here. So we can make a bunch of these floaters, which will eat up a lot of that plastic. And we'll need those eventually. Of course, we're going to need more planks. We're always going to need more planks. That gave us a lot more room just using moving all those plastics over to here. And you can see all the plastics. This game really does have a great art style, for sure. It looks good. It has good music. Um, it's nice. If we don't find more seaweed, we're going to be a little bit in trouble, though. Although, just like their energy goes down, their food goes down slowly. So I think you can go a few days without eating, which would be thematically. It would make sense. You don't really need to eat every day to survive. Let's, uh, let's get a move on here. Um, 
Honestly, getting some more wet wood probably wouldn't be the worst thing in the world. There's plastics over there. Oh, the more seaweed. We're totally fine. We're totally fine. The question is, though, can we get a research station now? That won't fit there. Will the tower fit here? Ooh, the tower will fit there perfectly. Oh, but it'd be kind of cool to have the tower, like, out on the edge, too. Oh, that'd be kind of hype. I just like the way that looks. We need more wood, though. Yeah, go go gather that, that wood. Where'd it go? Yeah, back here. Bowie. Yeah, we need more wet wood because I think we're, we are actually burning through it a little bit. Um, we need uh, two more planks. It uh, looks like we're trying to make two more, but we're still trying to dry the wood and such. Eventually, we'll be able to upgrade these. Oh, there's some dried wood. Oh, what is this all about? That's right, we wanted to check this. Oh, there's dried wood out here. And there's food. Five things of food. We're totally good to go. Uh, let's also make sure that after we do those things of wood, we are working on a bunch of firewood. And then ultimately, you know, we are still doing um, a bunch of... Oh, actually, because it's set to unlimited, I think it'll just automatically keep doing fresh water forever if it's not queued up with something else. So that's how that works. Yeah, let's get these people out to here. I accidentally canceled him, so I didn't. I hope I didn't interrupt him mid... Oh no, I interrupted a mid-gather. Whoops, I didn't mean to cancel that. I'm less concerned about this wet wood now that we know we're getting 15 dry wood. So this is just more metal scraps. It's it's food, it's 15 dry wood. Um, if we had one more... If we literally had a couple more dry wood, we got a serious issue here. Oh, we can do this. Okay. Get more storage capacity, because clearly we need that. A couple more of those. That That's a good... Building the floaters is a good way to, to increase available space there we go this will also give us 20 more slots it's not much we can upgrade this eventually maybe we can't upgrade this but we can deconstruct and then build bigger ones we need to get the research station going for that we do actually have the dried wood so hopefully uh, we're going to be adding one more wood here and working on that there we go looks like we're making it Although, to be fair, it looks like you're making the wrong thing. Oh, no, we just don't have the floaters right now. I'm going to turn this off for now if I can. So I want you to work on the floaters. We need one more floater, and we can build the research station. Then you can go back to desalinating. The water if you so choose there you go so you can you can go back to that if you like where do we put the research station i wouldn't mind having a path that could extend out there so i don't want to pinch that too much we'll put it out on its own there I'm trying to make a little bit of a unique base okay, we have plenty of wet wood move this marker we need to get this dry wood. We need to get that food. That food's going to be huge. Getting five extra food, that's like two and a half, that's that's more than two and a half days of food. Now, I'm wondering if these guys will get recovered one more step or if they'll just stay at that orange. We talked about that, uh, wondering that last time. Speed three through the night to speed things along here. I guess the next thing we could build is the um, scrap smith because we do have a certain amount of metal. Need a lot more plastic for that. So plastic seems to be more of a limiting reagent than um, than anything. During uh, during the night, a campfire was spotted. A survivor might need her help. Waypoint has been added to the compass. Say what? Waypoint has been added to the compass. Oh. Well, that's kind of interesting. I love that. Okay, do not move the ship. Okay. 
So if we go this way, we'll actually be able to add a new person to the crew. That's actually really, really nice. Oh, that's another checkdown. This this watchtower expands our vision massively. Massively. I would say we need this plastic, but there's plastic on the way. So let's, we're going to creep over to here once we're done with Shack Town. We're going to creep over to here. And man, I'm almost tempted to go to that other Shack Town. We don't know for sure if they all have food on them, but... You can actually say don't collect. Yeah, that's kind of nice. You can actually say don't collect the wood. Don't collect the uh, metal. Just collect the, the food. But of course, in this case, we want to collect everything anyways. But And the food is uh, will be collected. Day four report. The research has been built. So now we can officially start researching. I think this has changed a little bit. Um, this building is not linked to any other energy buildings. Okay. Okay. Manual powered generator, wood powered generator. Can we research this without electricity? Saying that this is a two, and it's, oh, oh, we have two floaters. Is everything just cost floaters? Getting salvage boats would be really nice though, for sure. Solar panels sound quite nice. You can see that there's uh, the, they don't have the art in for some of this stuff. Like you see beautiful art here. Uh, sort of concept art looking, but it but it, it actually looks really it, it's concept art in the sense that the like thematically in the game these are sketches by the actual scientist and engineer and stuff as they're planning these things out, and they look really really nice. So some of these looks like we need some new uh, we need some new ones there for some of these. Decorative light that makes the town more delightful at night. Seems expensive, but kind of nice. We got bird houses over here. Oh, oh, regular house. We got regular houses and, and big houses. Large junkyards. Produces, we can oil, oil refineries. The solar stills are amazing. These things just passively produce water. It's pretty, pretty great. Uh, these are just ways to store additional water. A seaweed grower. Seaweed spore grows seaweed spores into seaweed. I wonder how we get the seaweed spores. And fish come off. Fishing is going to be a pretty big deal, I think. We're going to need the mooring point, and then we're going to need the fishing boat. Which actually, it looks like the fishing boat's pretty expensive. And then you'll need the fishing boat. This is going to take some time. They've really kind of made it a little bit... There's not necessarily a huge amount of additional content compared to where there was at the beginning of the game, of like when it released. But they've made it so it's a lot harder to get to a lot of the stuff, which is kind of nice for progression, but that doesn't really change like the amount of, of content in the game. But it does look like something like, like just basic fishing is now like an end game. Am I crazy? Like fishing is an end game thing now. It's like... The fishing boat requires like a large, compared to the other things, it's a large research thing. You have to get the mooring point, then you have to get the fishing boat, then you have to come over here and get this. This building might require electricity, potentially, or at least fuel, probably just fuel, um, whereas I guess the food truck probably requires electricity. And manually generate 30 eels here. Oh, I think I understand what's going on. I think we were supposed to build the research center next to the main thing because I think there's an elect. This is the electrical grid. This is the electrical grid, the, the center building. 
Okay. So we just need to we just need to build uh, electrical po poles out to here, which means technically this doesn't need to be researched right away. This is we got the crank. Although the crank's really not the best thing in the world. Seaweed grower is interesting, but we haven't seen those spores, so I don't know how we get them. The more we're getting the boats up and going would be critically important. Um, so maybe we do that. I don't know. Uh, well, actually, you know, I'm going to cancel this because we need to. We need to. We need to get this hooked up to the grid first, which is going to cost a certain amount of, of wood and so on and so forth. So, so stop making firewood and start making this stuff because we're going to need a certain amount of wood to to pull this to uh, to get out there. Guys, thanks everybody for hanging out for another episode. We're going to be coming back with this food, which is good. So that's going to cover our, our food right now. We have seaweed uh, nearby that we can grab. We're going to pick up some plastic. We're going to go looking for this other crewmate or this 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 sort of stranded person. We're going to go looking for them and hopefully save them and add them to the crew. And we'll have four people working on the, on the ship, which will be nice. we got this watchtower, and it's actually making a big difference. So thanks, everybody, for being here. I really appreciate it. Guys, I read all the comments. I, can't, I respond to, like, most of the comments. If you guys have questions about Flotsam... I'm um, happy to answer them. It is a game that I've actually played quite a bit, even though we're just sort of delving into this brand new uh, update that just came out for the early access build. And um, yeah, thanks everybody for being here. Playlist link down below. We'll make sure that you find your way to the third episode if for some reason YouTube isn't recommending it automatically. Thank you guys. Uh, I'll see you guys in the next one.